Yeah, Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously I've been looking through the comments and you guys have been saying that I should do a lot more videos. So I'm just going to start it off by doing a BMX and a scooter check all in one. I'm going to start off with my bike, but first of all I'm going to get a few things out of the way. You guys have been commenting on my Instagram and stuff saying why, why are you riding a bike so much and why aren't you riding your scooter as much, are you quitting and stuff. That's not the case, I just feel like when I ride a bike it's just a bit of fun. Just getting away from all the competitions on scooter and things like that. Like I just, I like learning new things and as many possible things as I can. So I just do biking for fun and then obviously scooter is my main, my main sport. So don't, don't think like I'm quitting or anything like that because I'm definitely not quitting scootering. I'm going to start off at the top with my pink ODI barons which have held up for a long time now. I've got black ODI softy grips, literally I wouldn't ride any other grip, I've never ridden any other grip and these are like the softest I've ever ridden so make sure you get yourself a pair of those. I've got the blue hit main bars, they're holding up really strong, I've been riding these for like a while now, probably about a month or two, they're holding up good. I've got the, I've got an Odyssey um, brake lever on the right hand side. I did have a firmer brake lever, but I uh, I tried a crank slide and uh, landed on the front of the bars and it kind of snapped. But yeah, this is a good brake. Obviously, loads of room to put your fingers when you're doing your bars and things like that. I've got another black ODI softy grip and another pink ODI bar end. I've got a twin cable going down into my Vocal BMX gyro headset. I wouldn't recommend any other gyro because purely because this is the smoothest and the nicest gyro I've ever ridden. I've um I've got a vocal BMX headset that's run really smooth, hasn't come loose yet. Wouldn't really change it because I got given it, so yeah. I've got a hit main stem that also come with the bike that um Mafia hooked me up with, which is running really good as well. I've got hit main forks in blue. Trying to keep it the blue scheme, you know. So um, they're running really, really good as well. I've got a few scratches on them, which means I'm using it good. And then I'm just going to get out of the way, and I've got a hit main frame in blue as well. I've got my sticker on the front, so um, it's repping, repping my scooters on my uh, bike as well. I've also got a vocal front hub, which is female. And then I'm not too sure what the spokes are, but I know they're holding up really well. I haven't had a problem with them at all. Um, vocal rim, I don't really know what the name of it's called, but it's really holding up well. It's so good, so light, really, really helps when I'm spinning my tricks around. And now I'm going to go to my seat. I've got the Jack Clark Vocal BMX seat, which is holding up really, really good. Obviously, I've been putting this through its paces down at Corby and things like that, so it's really, really holding out. I don't really know what calipers I have, but I know they're working really well and my cable is too. I'm liking this um, little modification that they've put on the on the frames now to make the brake really, really um, responsive. So yeah, I've got Odyssey, Odyssey brake pads. I've got Odyssey brake pads. They're, um, yeah, I've ridden them since, since day dot. They're holding out really good, makes my brake nice and squeaky, you know, make sure it's working. I've got a profile racing hub on the back. Obviously, as you can as you can hear, it's pretty loud, and so is the brake. But um, yeah, that's holding out really well. Obviously, when you're going along the the skate park, someone knows you're coming. So yeah, I've got. I don't really know. I don't know the spokes for these, but they're holding up really good. Obviously, really tight. And then another vocal rim, which I th I think is holding out really good as well. Like really lightweight. Good to do your whips and your bars and things like that, which um, they're really responsive. Haven't haven't buckled once, so yeah. Make sure you get to Vocal BMX and give them a little uh, tinkle about some rims. <laughs> I've got a Vocal BMX um, bottom bracket, which me which is quite cool because um, there's some bolts here that you can tighten up because uh, I know everyone likes their chains super tight, so your bottom bracket don't move, but. You've got some bolts here that you just tighten up and you can make your, your, your BB as, as tight or as loose as you want. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I've also got a, I think these are vocal cranks, I'm not too sure, but I've got some black cranks, but I don't know the name of them. But um, yeah, that's pretty much, I don't know, I've got my, uh, literally just turn the bike around. I've got a, I think it's a vocal 
um, sprocket. That's holding up good. Haven't had any problems with that at all. And then to finish it off, I've got my half link chain in black, which is holding up good as well. Like literally haven't had any problems with the bike at all. It's super light, super strong. Been doing, um, been practicing them flare whips lately and uh, the bike's been holding up really, really good. So I'm, I'm stoked with it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna um, end it there. Right, moving on to my scooter now. Well, I'm just gonna clear up a few things. Obviously you guys, this isn't my signature scooter. But I'm just going to tell you that my signature scooter is sold out. That's why I'm not riding it, um, which is I'm pretty bummed about. But they're definitely coming back in soon. And I think if you stay tuned to Christmas or just after Christmas, then I think there's some big things coming. So um, that's the reason I'm not riding my signature scooter. It's not because I don't like it or anything like that, because I absolutely love it. But I just, um, obviously, it's, it's sold out and there's no more left in the country. So I can't really... Um, ride it but I'm going to start off at the top with my with my new scooter that I have um, I've got white ODI bar ends with a ODI softy in purple um, I picked up these bars on the weekend uh, from SNS thanks so much for those uh, they're in matte black they're grip battle bars they're light as and they're so so strong I haven't actually broken a pair yet so make sure you get yourself a pair of those um, this is my SCS clamp which I've, uh, I've sticker bombed with my stickers I've actually had this SES clamp for about probably about eight months now and it's really holding out so good. Like I haven't stripped any bolts or anything like that, so make sure you check them out there. I think they're grit SES clamps on the on the website, so get having a look at those. Um I run a Primo headset in black, which is a BMX headset. I just the only one they sell in the shop. They didn't really sell any um scooter ones, so I just picked this one up as it was an integrated headset. So yeah. Um, I've got grit alloy forks that I uh, that I coloured in with a sharpie because I had blue bars on before these and these were blue forks and um, I got black bars so I just coloured these in so it sort of looks black so yeah um, I've got a, a light ultra lightweight um, gold and white PU 110 wheel on the front uh, they're running really really smooth haven't had a problem with them put them on a week or two ago which I'm really happy with. They're running good. I've got one on the back as well. Um, I'm running Bones Bones Red Swiss bearings or something like that. They're literally so fast and so smooth. Really reliable. They haven't I haven't broken a set yet, and they uh, they last for a good a good amount of time, which I'm really really happy with. Um, I've got a a grit flex fender. Obviously, on the new six. 2016 decks you don't have a cut out on the bottom so you don't have to do your bolts up it's just one three vertical bolt, bolts that you do up with a I don't know what size Allen key but yeah I'm really really liking that and then last but not least I have the gold 2016 grit vendetta which is um, which I'm really really liking it's the same at it's actually the same dimensions as my signature deck as I said it's not that I don't like my signature deck it's just I can't ride it at the minute but um, that's why I'm riding this because it's exactly the same dimensions and I'm loving it just as much as I love my six scoot. So um, make sure you guys all check out my YouTube channel. Obviously comment below if you want me to do some new more videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I think I may be doing a 20k giveaway on YouTube so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, all my social medias are going to be down below obviously. Yeah. Thanks for watching and make sure you go subscribe and just keep shredding.